Welcome to the program. You're watching Primetime News. A line from Seoul, I am Kang Tiri. And I'm Sean Lim. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. We begin with our neighbor to the north. According to the Kremlin, there's a good chance North Korean leader Kim Jong-un will embark on a trip to Russia this spring to attend a World War II-related anniversary event. Although it's not yet clear whether he will actually appear, experts say Pyongyang wants to gain as much attention as possible over this announcement. Our Kwon Soa tells us why. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un may be headed to Moscow this May. Citing the Russian presidential office, Seoul-based Yonhap News reported Wednesday that Kim is among the 20 heads of state that have confirmed their plans to attend Russia's celebrations, marking the 70th anniversary of victory over Nazi Germany in World War II. A week ago, the North Korean leader responded positively to Russian President Vladimir Putin's invitation to the event. If Kim makes the visit, it will be his first trip abroad since coming into power in 2011, and the first time a North Korean leader has not chosen China as his first overseas destination since the Korean War. But experts say Kim may actually want to head to Beijing first for North Korea-China talks. North Korea wants to provoke China to respond to the announcement of Kim Jong-un's visit to Russia in order to talk to China before the North Korea-Russia talks. To push China, Pyongyang will be highlighting Kim Jong-un's visit numerous times up until the anniversary event. Analysts also say Pyongyang is trying to provoke South Korea and the U.S. too for similar reasons, saying that if Kim's visit to Russia comes ahead of inter-Korean and U.S.-North Korea talks, a new round of frosty relations will likely form. Kremlin has not yet finalized its guest list, which still leaves Kim's attendance pending, as well as South Korean President Park Geun-hye's attendance, as she too has been invited. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.